This is Dr. Ramirez. I'm in uh, San Diego, California. I'm at the supplements meeting that uh, Scripps uh, Hospital is organizing. And uh, in this uh, uh, meeting, we are listening to the latest research on nutrition. And I'm have a, I have a two research posters at this meeting that I'm presenting. And, and this is my second poster. In this uh, poster, what we're demonstrating is the importance of folate in mental health. The setting for this uh, study is uh, uh, our community version of our depression recovery program. And the, the sample is quite big, 5,221 participants. And what we were trying to see is if there is a relationship between levels of depression and intake of folate, an important uh, nutrient overall in health, but also has implications on brain health. And what we found out is that those that were deficient at the beginning of the program, how do we know they were deficient? Uh, we uh, ask about the foods they're eating, and that's why we found out if they had enough intake. Those that were deficient had higher levels of depression compared to those that were not deficient. Still, some of those people not deficient still had depression because this is a depression recovery program. People are coming to seek help for their mental health. And the beauty of this is that this is a community program. It's eight weeks. They come once a week for two hours and we educate them on the advantages of plant-based nutrition, on the advantages of eating more vegetables and so forth. Uh, folate uh, uh, comes from the word foliage, uh, which means uh, something green. People don't eat enough green things today and they get themselves in trouble because of that. So what we found out after those eight weeks, those that were able to increase their intake of folate, actually their levels of depression were uh, the least. Compared to those that did not uh, meet that nutritional guideline, their level of depression tended to be a little bit higher. And also the good news about it is that even those that had a bad intake of folate, as they did these lifestyle interventions, some of them started to increase that level, which is very good news. And, and some of them uh, actually uh, were able to go from uh, a very bad intake of folate to an, an ideal intake of folate. So as you can see, if you have depression and um, uh, you need to check what you eat. It's something curious. Uh, many times uh, patients say, hey, doctor, you're the first one that is asking me uh, what do I eat? Uh, I didn't realize that that had a, an implication on my mental health. And yes, it makes all the sense of the world. What you eat will become certain chemistry, which will have an implication up in your head. So uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, keep uh, watching the uh, video, subscribe and get the latest updates on uh, lifestyle medicine. Thank you very much.